happy Thursday, only today's not Thursday, today's Monday. I am recording this video um, for the January 25th Facebook Live. So this will be showing up for you on January the 25th. Um, I'm just not gonna be live, it's recorded. I've got a lot of traveling coming up in the near future for my corporate job. And so I'm trying to get ahead of what I'm doing, you know, I don't want to miss any Facebook Live, so I'm recording ahead of time. I've been creating ahead of time, um, recording ahead of time, so I don't miss out connecting with all of you. Today is actually Monday, um, January 15th. It's Martin Luther King's birthday, and I have the day off. So I've been crafting down on my studio. It's a very blustery, snowy day. You can probably see outside the windows. But um, I love coming down here, especially during the day, to my studio to create um, because I've got the big windows and I can see everything that's going on outside. The snow is beautiful. I love the snow. Not so much the frigid cold. It is freezing cold. I think yesterday was a negative five high and today is supposed to be two high. So I am not getting out. I would rather be warm and toasty inside my studio crafting than out there. So anyway, thank you for joining me, even though we're not necessarily truly live. Um, I'm excited to have you see the set that we're working on today. Actually, it's an extension of the Softly Sophisticated that I'm going to introduce to you this coming Thursday, at which I will be live. So this, this video is going to be part two of that. But let me um, go into a couple of other things before we actually get into that part of it just to get the announcements um, out of the way first. I wanted to remind everybody about my um, Create Happiness Club. Let me do this. I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see. But this is my Create Happiness Club. This is a club that is going to be every other month. The cards in the club are going to be a little bit more extensive than the cards that I do on the to-go classes. And I know sometimes in my uh, my face-to-face -face classes, um, I try to make the cards a little bit more simple, focus on techniques, um, tools that we might be utilizing so that we have time to get those in. This is done in the, in the comfort of your own home. I can make these a little bit more complicated if you will but not so much that you can't do them I'm never gonna do it so that you can't get them done but there's just more more involved to them I should say so my first club or um, create happiness club goes live um, today actually January 15th although I know you're not seeing this until the 28th but the enrollment period is through February the 11th. So this is the, the last time that I'll be reminding you about um, the deadline of February 11th. And that gives me time to order up all the products that I need to order up and get the kits cut. And then these get shipped out to you on March the 4th. All of the information that you need for this is actually out on my um, website at, let me play around with this a little bit more again. Um, push the wrong button. We've got this and then I'm going to put up my website so you can go out to my website to April Davis Creations and at April Davis Creations there is a clubs and classes page. Look for the create happiness page and you will find then all of the information about my club. It's a, it's a, a subscription club Every other month, I invoice you the month before so that we can get um, the reservations, if you will, and all of that stuff is explained. I'm not going to spend time today doing it, but I did want to share with you some of the cards we're working with. We're going to be working with the um, paper florist dies. It's pretty much the dies. Um, the stamps are all um, sentiments. And so you can use whatever sentiment you want. But you've got this, the cards. You're going to get a kit for each one of the cards. You'll have a tutorial for each of the cards. And you will have a video for each of the cards. So we've got four cards. And then we have a 6 by 6 project that you guys will work on. And um, you can see there's a lot of um, flowers and a lot of um 
petals and things that you need to assemble. You're gonna also in your kit, besides the, the cardstock that you need to create those, you're gonna get a half a pack of the designer series paper, reutilizing the inked botanicals. You're going to get a bolt of ribbon that I had right here. Um, it may be over on my, let's see, do I have it? I don't have it, but you're gonna get a bolt of ribbon and then you're also gonna get the precision tip glue bottle um, with all the little pieces that you're going to be gluing together. This precision tip glue bottle is going to come in handy. So those are the things that you're going to get in the first club create. And then we're going to go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing today. So today is a, give me a second, let me take this down. I'm going to put this up. Today is a to-go class. Today's to-go class, and I'm putting up the host code because the to-go class you can get for free. Information, again, out on my website. Go to classes, clubs, go to the to-go class. This class is free. If you're interested, you place a minimum order in my online store, and then I will send you the kit for free. You're gonna get all three cards that we're gonna look at times two. I will send two of each. And then if your order, that's for a minimum $40 order. If you place a $50 order, I'm going to share with you um, a free pack of, let me see, you probably can't see these. Let me get so that I can show you. Let's take this down, let's put this up. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. <laughs> You're gonna get a free pack of the 2023-2025 um, in color dots that we're gonna be utilizing today. So that's for the to-go class, but you need to use the host code. That's why I had the host code up here. The host code, when you place your order, you include the host code, and then that way I know that you are interested in the to-go class for free. So. Let me take this down and this down and I'm going to get into sharing the catalogs with you. Remember we've got the new mini catalog that just um, started in January. Um, we we're one month down by the time you see this video, um, but it goes through April. We're going to be working on some projects outside of this catalog um, soon, but right now I'm focused on the celebration flyer. The celebration flyer is the flyer that you have the opportunity to select many things from it for free. If you place a $50 order, you get to select one item for free. If you select place a $100 order total, then you can select two items um, at the $50 level, or there are a few $100 items in here where you can get a combination. So today, actually, we are going to be focused on the um, Softly Stippled Designer Series paper. I'm going to be utilizing that today, and then I'm also going to be utilizing the Softly Sophisticated Bundle. This bundle, and it comes with an embossing folder, so you're going to see how this is um, used today. The cards are beautiful. I'm really excited about them, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So let me go ahead and take myself down, and let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to get it done. Um, there we go. And I'm going to bring out the cards, introduce you to the cards that we're going to be working on. So card number one, very delicate. I'm going to bring it up just so that you can see the embossing in it. It's, it's just, a, just a beautiful, elegant card. Then we've got card number two that you can see the designer series paper that we're using. We're also using the embossing folder here. We have a little place to put your message inside. And then this third one, again, we're using the embossing folder, we're using the designer series paper, and we're doing some stamping. So let's go ahead and get started with our first card. I'm gonna bring the kit over, and, and it's pretty simple. We have three pieces of basic white paper. So the first thing I wanna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my card base set up. And then this layer is going to go on top of that. But before we put this on, we need to be sure to emboss it. So the embossing folder is a 3D embossing folder and it's a larger embossing folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my cardstock up. If you can see this line down here, to get a straight emboss, what I like to do is line my paper up with the line 
then I can close this up and I know that my emboss is going to be straight. In some cases, it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not, but in this one, I want it to be straight. So I'm going to bring in my big cut and emboss. The layers that you use for a 3D are just your main base, base number one, and then you're going to bring in your, your um, plate number four. Line this up, and then let's make sure we get it in there good, and then just crank it through. There we go. So let me move this out of the way. Take my sandwich apart. And there we go. We've got a beautiful embossed layer. Sometimes you don't need anything more than just embossing. Cardstock is beautiful if you add some texture to it. So let's go ahead and take this and we'll go ahead and adhere it to our base. And we'll have that done. And again, um, I don't typically use a lot of glue. You don't need to use a lot of glue. But for me, when I am working with embossed layers, I like to give a little bit more glue just to get into all the little crevices of the um, embossing. It's not a flat piece of cardstock anymore, so I want to make sure that I get a good coating of glue so it will adhere down. And I use the glue so that I can manipulate this a little bit so that if I'm off with lining things up, I can slide things around. So now we've got our base. The next step then is to do our stamping. So I need to bring out my piece of scrap that we're gonna stamp on, and I'm gonna show you the stamp set. This is the Softly Sophisticated Stamp Set. Remember in the, um, I'm, I'm losing my thoughts, um, Celebration Flyer. You get the stamp set and you get the embossing folder together. They're photopolymer stamps. I've pretty much used all of them, so I'm gonna go ahead, and this is two-step stamping, so I'm gonna need to pull this, let's see, I'm gonna pull this one out, and I'm gonna pull this one out, and you'll see how this works. So two-step stamping, what that means is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my old olive, and I'm going to stamp my leaves first. So we'll open this up, I'm gonna grab a block from up here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna turn it on its angle so it fits on my block. And I'm also going to bring in my Stamp and Pierce mat. Photopolymer stamps, I feel, do a better job when they are stamped on a cushion rather than stamped on something solid. So I'll bring this in and I'm going to stamp my flowers up here, but before I do that, I'm, I'm just second I'm, I'm thinking this through. I want to do actually my sentiment first. And the reason I want to do my sentiment first is I want to make sure that I have enough room to do my flowers. I could do my flowers first. That would be fine. But I just want to make sure that I have enough room for my sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring um, my stamp set in again. And I'm going to pull out your in my thoughts. So let me pull out your in my thoughts. And let's go ahead and get another block for it. I'm gonna put this face down. And then basically what I do is I kind of line it up on a grid and then I can line my block up on the grid too. And then my stamp is straight. So I'm stamping in Moody Mauve um, today and I'm just gonna test it out, make sure I've got a good coating. That's good, I like that. So then I can come down here and I'm gonna just stamp your in my thoughts. Now remember I'm gonna be cutting this out. So I want to give enough room for the die to be able to cut it out. But you've got, you're in my thoughts. Let me clean this stamp up quickly. And then we'll move on to the next part. All right, back to the old olive. Pull that back out. Now I have a better idea as to how I want to line my green up. So I'm just going to press that down. Oh, this isn't the right one. Hold on a second, guys. This is, this one belongs to another 
set of flowers. So let me clean this up. Oops, I want the ones with the leaves. This one has no leaves, as you can see. I just pulled the wrong one off. So let me take that off. We will put it back in here. And see, here is the one with the leaves. Right here. So here we go. Put this on. There we go. Now let's stamp. I'm like, something's missing on this. What is it? There we go. Exactly what I want to see. So now I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Bring it down a little ways so it's close to my sentiment. And then I'm just going to press that there. There we go. All right. So that two-step stamping that I was talking about. We've got the leaves, but now we need to get our flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out another block for us. These are the flowers that we're going to utilize. Move that off to the side. I'm going to bring in the Moody Mob again. Sorry. There we go. And we're going to get this lined up. Just going to test this out. Good job. Okay. So you can see right here, we've got our little bud. So what I want to do is I want to set this up so that my little bud is going right in this little crevice. That will, that's the direction that I want the stamp to go. So I'm going to line that up and in lining that up, the rest of the flowers will go where they need to go. There we go. So our flowers are lined up the way that we need them. All right, cleaning that off. And let's go ahead and pull our die out. And the die that we're utilizing today is from the Thoughtful Expressions, I believe. Yes, it is. So I believe it's the largest. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. The Thoughtful Expressions has um, a little bird and some flowers, some nice sentiments, but I gotta show you the dies that come with this in the bundle. Lots of dies, and so it's gonna be fun. I've got another card that I'm gonna be utilizing tonight as well that we're gonna utilize those dies. So they don't even match necessarily the items on the, the stamps, but we're gonna be able to do some layering with the shape of these dies. So let me go ahead and get this down, lined up where I need it to go. This piece of paper or piece of cardstock is just big enough. So I wanna make sure I've got plenty of room on each side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it down to hold it in place. That'll be enough so that when I bring my Cut and emboss back in, and tonight we're just going to use the big one. I'm going to bring in my sandwiches this time. Plate number one, plate number two, then I've got my cutting plate. I always use the cutting plate the same, and then I've got a clear top plate. When my bottom cutting plate gets too used and I can't use it anymore, then I will replace the bottom plate with the top plate and get a new top plate. And that's just how I tend to um, rotate my plates. So let's go ahead and get this run through. Whoops. Get this out of the way. Get the plates out of the way. carefully tear off my low tack tape, which I will use again and again. So I'm gonna place it off to the side. And now we have our stamped piece with the sentiment. So the next step then is to put dimensionals on the back of this. So let me reach over here and grab my dimensionals. And we'll put some dimensionals on the back. One in each corner. You know me, I like a lot of dimensionals, mostly for stability. I mean, you could get by with a lot less dimensionals and that's fine if you choose to, to be a little sparing with your dimensionals. But I just, 
I want some stability, especially since I mail out a lot of these cards. I want some stability with it. So I do utilize um, more dimensionals than probably I need to, but it's just my preference. You can go with a fewer. So let me get these off. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to center it in my card, top to bottom, side to side. I'm going to pick it up and look at it to make sure I feel like I've gotten it level the way that I want it. I do. And look how easy that was. That card is done and it's so pretty, so elegant. Anybody who received this card certainly would be happy. So anyway, let's move on to card number two. All right, card number two is this card. I'm gonna clean up my mess just a little bit. We're gonna be using some designer series paper. Let me get rid of my trash. Some designer series paper. We've got some gray card stock. I'm looking for my trimmer. Here we go, because I've got one thing that I need to do as far as trimming. So let me bring out the, the kit and show you what it looks like. You've got your piece of basic white cardstock. You've got your designer series paper. This is a soft, softly stippled paper that is also free in the celebration flyer. And then we've got some pebbled path cardstock that I've die cut, and we've got two pieces of basic white bit of cardstock and the pebble path is cut oh, not from this one let me see oh i just showed it to you from the thoughtful expressions the pebble path and the white are cut utilizing these dies so i just went ahead and cut them ahead of time just so that i could shave some time off of the video and not keep you guys so long but what we need to do right now a couple of things first off we're going to take the card base and if you'll notice we've cut off the side of it so we need to do that now so basically what I've done is the front of the card I have actually cut off two inches so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna cut off two inches so we've done that now we've got the front of our card and then with this two inches I'm actually going to use it for the layer that we embossed. So what I'm gonna do is this layer is four, or excuse me, two by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna double check myself. Yep, two by five and a quarter. The piece of paper was actually five and a half, so I should cut off just a quarter of an inch. There we go, we're gonna cut that off. And now this is ready to be embossed. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to bring my embossing folder back in along with my um, cut and emboss again. So let's pull this up. Get my layers in here. I need this layer. And then I need my embossing folder. So we've got that here. And the piece that I'm going to emboss. So again, what I'm gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna line it up with the line down here. Hold it in place, and squeeze it with my fingers to hold it in place, and then we'll just crank it on through. Let me pull this out just a little bit to make sure I've got my plate in there far enough. All right, so we'll crank this through. I love, love, love this embossing folder. I'm using it on all kinds of cards that you will see as, <laughs> as we have additional to-go classes. So here we go. We've got our piece embossed. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. All right, so let's take this and basically what we're gonna do with that is we're going to adhere it to the top of this, get it centered. So let's go ahead and get that done. Again, I'm doing an embossed piece. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more glue than probably I normally would. We're going to get that 
centered where we need it to go. I can move it around a little bit till I get it in the place that I want. Maybe move this up just a tad. Move this over just a tad. Okay, so we've got that. The designer series paper then goes to the inside. So let's go ahead and get that adhered as well. It has been so cold here. I don't think I've, I, I did go out on Friday. This is Monday. I did go out on Friday, but I haven't been out since. Um, Friday we had a um, anniversary. My in-laws were celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. So the family all get to, got together for dinner to celebrate them. And um, at the time that we were driving over there, it was actually, it, I felt like we were in a blizzard. It was snowing very, very hard. But by the time we were done with the dinner, it had all subsided. So um, it was a really, really nice evening. But boy, I haven't been out since because it's just so cold. I'm going to utilize the I Really Appreciate You stamp. So let me pull that one out. And we'll get it on a block. And we'll start getting things stamped. So remember that stamp that I had that I wanted the leaves that's the one we're gonna use this time. So I'm gonna do some switching around here. I'm gonna line this stamp up just so I can get it on straight. I'm looking to see if I have a smaller stamp that I can use, a smaller block. So I'm getting that on straight. And then I'm going to pull out the other leaves that I was gonna utilize. And then we've also got the flowers then. That, so it's also two-step. And let me see if I can pull a block over here. We'll get those on. And we're gonna be utilizing the Calypso Coral this time. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my white pieces and I am off to the side with the pebbled path. I'm going to stamp my leaves. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll stamp my sentiment again, just so that I make sure that I leave enough room for the sentiment. So Calypso Coral is the ink of choice tonight. It goes very well with our cardstock. So let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna test it out. Yep, got it. And then let me see how I want this to go. I think I'm gonna have it go this way. So I'm gonna line this up off to the right hand side down towards the bottom. So I've got that on now. We'll go ahead and clean that up. I've got that all nice and clean. I'm going to use Eclipse of Coral again, but I'm going to close it up for now so I don't get anything on my hands or clothes. Pebble Path is what we're going to use for the, the greenery, <laughs> if you will, but it goes very well with the gray that we've, the, the Pebble Path that we've decided to use. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit and get it close to my sentiment see if I can I'm gonna do it about right here okay so doesn't look like much just yet but let's wait we got to get our flowers on there so after we've done this I'm gonna clean it up pull my flowers out we're gonna do them in the calypso coral as well Oop, got ink on me let's see I'm gonna pull this out and I'll just wipe it off on my rag that I've got here. There we go. Okay, let's do these. And let me see. This is the upside. And basically, you can see where the ends of everything are. That's how you want to line your flowers up. So I'm looking to get my flowers lined up so that they line up with, and I got to do a little bit of twisting and turning. But it looks like, from my perspective right now, they're where they need to be. So I'm gonna go straight down and up. And now I've got my flowers attached to my vine. Okay, this looks a little bit darker. Perhaps the first one I did, I stamped off because the clips of coral can be a bit dark. But tonight, I did not stamp off. So we're going with the color that we've got. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take dimensionals and we are going to put our, we're gonna line this up here with dimensionals. So let me pull my dimensionals back out again. And let's see, I've got a few more on here. We're getting to the end of these. Hopefully I have enough for this one. I've got more over here. I just um, noted that these are starting to get used up. I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. Put this off to the side, pull these off. And let's line this up. So I'm gonna line it up. Make sure it's even on the edges on each side so that we've got pretty much even distribution. I think that's really close. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so we've got that. So now what we need to do is we need to get this adhered to the card. But what we want to do is we want to center the other piece underneath. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on the back like so. I think we've got that lined up. And let me think about this. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of, let me see, let me think about this. I want to, to put a little bit of tape. Let me look here, where have I got some tape? I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. I can't remember how I did it last time. I kind of do it differently each time. But basically what I want to do is I want to center this on my, on my um, card and so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. This is just how I'm doing it tonight or today. But I'm, I'm just putting a little piece of tear and tape. This, this tear and tape is coming off. Um, let me take this off and I'll show you what I'm doing. If I can get it to, it doesn't want to stay so I can pull off the top. Seriously. All right, come on you. Come on you. Okay, we got it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue this or just get it to stick enough to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this first half down. I know there's an easier way. But I'm going to go ahead and get this half down because I, I really just want to center it up. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. I'm going to turn this over and it looks like I am actually gluing all of it down, but I'm really only gluing the, the, the bottom part down. Let, let's let this stick for just a second. And then I'm going to peel the, the gray off. I just want to get this centered where it needs to go. And I'm gonna pull the gray off, and then this will come up. So now I've got the piece where I want it to be. And the part that's the that's on the gray, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. But I have this down where I want it to be. And obviously this side needs to be glued down as well. This is just how I'm choosing to do it this time. I don't think I did it this way last time, but whatever works, right? I do it differently all the time. So I've got this down, but basically what I want to do, that's got glue on it, so let me get my adhesive eraser, my handy dandy adhesive eraser, and then I can just take that and take the adhesive off of this, and we've got that down. Then what I can do is I can take this, and I'm going to take the adhesive eraser here as well, just to get that extra stickiness off. There we go, it's all gone. And now what I can do is I can line this up again. And this time I'm only going to put adhesive on this side. So I'm lining it up from top to bottom with these two curves and I'm gonna put all the glue on this side. 
So we've got that. Bring this back in, line this up, top to bottom. And now covers, we'll get that set for just a second. And now we've got it centered underneath, you can't see it. The last thing that we're gonna do with this one, and I'm gonna use my bone folder just on the very edge of this. I don't wanna crush any of my embossing, but I just don't feel like this is um, laying down quite as flat as it could. So I'm just gonna take my embossing folder and help that out a little bit. And then I'm going to bring in my little dots and we're gonna put some gray dots on this. I'm gonna use my take your pick, the petty end of your take your pick. And we're gonna pull one here. We're gonna pull one here. And then it looks like I've got another big one. We're out of them here, but I'll put it right there, okay? So, card number two is now done. They're a little bit different because I didn't do any stamping off on my flowers. There seems to be more gray showing on this one than before, but I'm um, still such a pretty card. And that's number two. Look how simple these cards are. All right, let's bring in card number three. Let's move stuff out of the way so that we can get to work on this one. This one requires, oh, here's my <laughs> trash bin. This one requires um, some embossing, but I think I went ahead and did it ahead of time just to save us some time since we've already done that several times already. You've got your crumb cake base. You have your embossed layer with that beautiful embossing folder. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, so pretty. So we've got that. We've got some designer series paper. We have a piece of scrap white that we're going to be stamping on. We've got another piece of scrap that we're gonna be stamping on. And then this, um, I can't think of the name, Pebble Path is going to be our base for this particular card. And that's all that we need for that. So now we're gonna stamp again. This time we're gonna use the Pebble Path and we're going to use the Lost Lagoon, the coordinates. So let's go ahead and start building our card a little bit and then we'll get to the stamping piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over. Burnish it with the, the um, bone folder. We can go ahead and we can add our embossed layer. get that adhered, centered and adhered. Looking to make sure I've got it all even the way that I want it. It looks good. Then this piece of designer series paper is cut so it's going to go end to end on the embossed piece and I'm just gonna center it as well so we can go ahead and get that layered. Let's go ahead and layer this. Checking to make sure I've got it even from top to bottom. If I'm off a little bit, not a big deal. I can slide it around, but I think that's pretty good how I want it. So we've got that now. And now what I'm gonna do before I do anything else is I'm gonna do some stamping. So let's go ahead and pull this out and this out. We're going to take that same stamp that we had before that had the just the stems on it. I'm going to call it the stems because there aren't really any leaves. But you can see that this piece is much larger than the actual stem. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it. We're going to make it grow. So let me open up my pebbled path. Make sure I got it set up right. I'm going to bring in actually before I forget I'm going to bring in my stamp and pierce mat so I've got a bit of a cushion. And I'm going to start, I'm looking through my stamp just to make sure that I've got good coverage. 
I, I actually need to clean this up. Maybe I'll show you how to do that if we've got time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp and I'm gonna kind of tilt it this way a little bit. So I've got one part stamped and then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to uh, add it on a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do though is, let me see, how do I wanna do this? It's gonna be underneath the tag. So I'm not gonna worry about if it looks a little um, awkward because I'm gonna have it under the tag so that way I can hide a little bit of the overlap. But I wanna make sure that I've got room for the flowers. So let me, I think I'm gonna go right here. So we've got that. And let me clean this off and then we'll add the flowers to it and you'll see how we're going to make this work with the tag. So let me get this cleaned off. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring out, whoops, my Taran tape has decided to go crazy. Look at this. It got caught on um, my cleaning chamois box and it just decided it was gonna go crazy. So let's close this up. We're gonna bring out the Lost Lagoon. And let me see, I need, not those, where's my, here we go, I'm finding the flowers. So I'm gonna start at the bottom since that's where we started. Stamp that up. Okay, I'm gonna line these flowers up to start. And this is where I want these to go, right here. And then I'm going to line these up again, right about here. Let's see, gotta do a little bit of twisting. Here we go, go down. All right, so we've got our flowers. Let me clean this. And then we're going to use our wild wheat. Let me close this up. I'm gonna move this off to the side, find my second piece of scrap. I'm gonna bring in our wild wheat and I'm going to use the stamp Hello there. So we've pretty much used every stamp in this stamp set today. They're all on blocks. We've used them all. So let me get a little block for it. Put this down. Take my block, go right over the top of it. It doesn't matter if it's that centered because I'm gonna be die cutting. So I just really need to get it down for now. So we're gonna go ahead and Put it down, there's our hello there. Let me clean this stamp. And I do, I try to clean off the stamps as much as I possibly can while I'm using them because inevitably I get ink on my hands. And then once I get ink on my hands, then I get ink on my cards and then I have to figure out a way to fix them. So I'm gonna be using the um, dies that come with the set Wonderful Thoughts. Lots of fun um, sentiments. Um, and I, I just love collecting sentiments because you can never have enough sentiments. But in this particular one, um, you can cut out the sentiments specifically or there are some banners, if you will, that you can utilize. So we're gonna use that tonight or today. I'm used to doing this at night, so the fact that it's still daytime is kind of um, throwing me off. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this centered, and I'm actually going to put it off to the side just a little bit because I'm gonna put a bow over the rest of it. So I apologize if I'm getting my head into this. It fits very tightly, and so I wanna make sure that I'm getting a good portion of it. So let's go ahead and put this in. I'm gonna have to bring in my cut and emboss again, so we'll move stuff out of the way. One last time, cut and emboss. And we need these, this plate, these two plates, and my top plate. So let's pull this off of here, put it down, and then we'll crank it through. Go ahead and there 
we go. We got our hello there. So now what we can do is we can take the rest of this. Oh, looks like I got a little bit of ink on this. I'm not quite sure how I got ink on it, but see, I tell you guys, it, it's inevitable. It just kind of sneaks up on you. I'm going to introduce you to the Mono Sand Eraser. Um, there are tools that you need to have in your toolkit as you're stamping. One of them I introduced last week. This is the adhesive eraser. The other one is the Mono Sand Eraser. I've got ink at the top of this, and the Mono Sand Eraser is an eraser that kind of grinds away at the paper. And so hopefully what I can do is I can lighten this area. If I just twist it and turn it around, it's starting to lighten. If I'm not gonna be able to get it up completely, we have plan B, but I'm gonna try. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna do too much where I'm tearing the paper and I'm not yet. So I feel like I've still got a little bit of grace to continue to work on this. And if we compare it, I think I'm getting down low enough that I probably need to stop. Um, it's lighter than it was. You guys can probably still see it. It's lighter than it was, but we'll, we'll do something else to help cover that up as well. So let's go ahead and get this layer down on the piece of Pebble Path cardstock. Sometimes, especially if you catch it early, you can get that up. It just depends upon how much of the ink has soaked into the paper. Um, it happens. And so that's one of the tools that I have in my set. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of cardstock and we're going to layer it now here. And we're gonna go over to the, closer to the left-hand side with dimensionals again. Now remember I was running out of dimensionals. Well, I don't waste dimensionals. So let me show you, I've got something on the back there. I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just going to start snipping here and I'm gonna snip here. And you can snip big pieces, you can snip little pieces, but I'm gonna take the edge and I'm gonna apply it to the edge of my cardstock. Every bit of your, your dimensionals can be used. And so once the actual dimensional itself is gone, I am snipping and utilizing as much as I can in other areas. So we're gonna snip down here to get this end. I think I've got another snip. I can go here with this end. And, um, hmm, okay, I don't, want to, I, I don't want to have sinking in the middle, so I'm gonna take this piece and put it in the middle. <laughs> And I still have some to use. So let's go ahead and remove the backings from these leftover dimensional edges. I could have cut them smaller and maybe not used up so much, but again, I like stability. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere this to the left hand side, making sure that it's straight, but that I've got a little bit of room on each side. Let me double check just to make sure that I've got this where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna take my hello there, and my hello there is going to go over this area that overlapped. Once I put that hello there over that area, you can't really even tell that this is two pieces it's one piece. So here's what's gonna happen. I need a little bit of dimensional on this edge. So I'm gonna put it here on the edge. Is that enough? Yep, I'm gonna take it out to that edge. And then the rest of the dimensional, because this is already raised, I don't need dimensional on all of it. I only need dimensional on that one side. So now I can put glue on this side, just a little bit to hold it down, I'm gonna remove the back to this, and I'm gonna center this so that I'm hiding where we uh, grew the, the additional vine, if you will. 
whoop, 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 whoop. it's sliding. I just want to get it straight. So now I've got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wild wheat twine and I'm going to make a bow. Let's see, let's get this tied. Uh, turn it this way so I can kind of twist that down a little bit. Get my bow. Do I want it that big? Maybe not quite so big, but I want it tight. So now I've got that. And then I'm going to take my ribbon snips and cut that off. Are they about the same size? Yep. And I've got some glue dots. So I'm going to take my glue dot and I am going to pull a glue dot off of here with my, take your pick. I'm going to put it on the back of my knot on my bow. May need a little bit of help. It's pretty sticky. So now I've got it there and then I can go ahead and I can place it down where I want on my card. So almost done. We've got our bow, we've got our ribbon, or excuse me, we've got um, the tails that I'm thinking about whether I need to trim them as long as it's not covering up my sentiment, I think I'm good. And then I wanna go ahead and bring out some more um, of the dots. Now, I don't have um, any more gray, so I'm gonna open up a new pack. I've used the, what color am I talking about? I'm talking about, where's my, oh, my Pebbled Path. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cover up this little area up here. So I'm actually gonna put a Pebbled Path one up there. Oh, hit it. Then I'm gonna put another one probably down about right here. And then I'm gonna take one of my um, Wild Wheat. Let's see, do I wanna put it? I haven't decided. Maybe I like to do them in, um, I don't want a big one, I want a little one. So let's take one of these little ones. I want to use up this pack. And because I'm I'm kind of, hmm, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna put that one right there for sure. I don't know if I can move this one or not. Sometimes they will allow me to move them, but I wanna, I wanna, did it, oh good, uh, no. Did it come up with a sticky? It did come up with a sticky. So I think uh, maybe what I wanna do is I wanna move it over here. Mm. Actually, I probably liked it right where it was. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just play around with it till something strikes you. But anyway, I was able to hide that little area that had a bit of ink. I utilized another pebble path and a wild wheat. So let me move these out of the way. And I will bring all of the cards back in. Those cards are so easy, so quick, and so pretty. I just am so excited about them. And the fun part for me is while I'm creating these for you guys and um, then demonstrating it, then I have all these extra cards that go into my card library, if you will, so that, whoops, so that I can pull them out and share with my friends and loved ones and so we've got this one that we just made we have this one that we just made and we have this one all so pretty all so pretty all from the softly sophisticated stamp set we used every single one of the stamps in this set tonight and then also with this very cool embossing folder and you can get both of these for free in the celebration flyer. So let me do one more thing because I've got a little bit more time. So one of the things that I talked about that I wanted to share with you is my blocks or my stamping blocks tend to get a little funky because, you know, I'm using glue and, and everything else. So I had one here that, oh yes, this one. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull the stamp off of that one, but you can see maybe how dirty that stamp is and it's because I've been utilizing it a lot and you know I'm working with glue and things like that so what I do is I tend to keep um, some alcohol on hand this is just a little 
glass bottle with rubbing alcohol in it. I labeled it. I refill it all the time. But you can use this on your glass mat to clean up your glass mat, um, especially if it's got adhesive. But basically what I do is I just put a little bit of alcohol on my stamp blocks. And then I'll use a paper towel and I just rub it around and it lifts up that adhesive. So, especially since I do a lot of classes and I do a lot of to-go's, you know, I try to keep my blocks looking good. And so I've used that rubbing alcohol on it. I'm gonna make sure I got both sides of it. And I just wanna show you now how nice and clean that block is. So fun. So, sorry I didn't get that done ahead of time before this class, but it gave me an opportunity to show you that with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, you can clean up your stamp blocks and they look as good as new. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna sit down because I was standing up. I'm gonna come back into the picture with you guys just to say thank you for joining me today. It's still daylight out. Um, because it's Monday and I, it's a holiday for us, I'm recording this video for January 29th on January 15th. Next week, we'll be utilizing a totally different set. This is actually today, tonight, this video that you're watching is part two of the Softly Sophisticated set. So you're actually, prior to this video, you're gonna see another set of three cards. Next week, I'm going to record as well. I have to travel to Maryland for two weeks. Um, I've got a couple of conferences that I need to go to, one in Philadelphia and the other one in Washington, D.C. So I'm going to be out for two weeks. I'm recording these videos ahead of time. Next week will be a totally different bundle. Um, part of the bundle is in our annual catalog and part of the designer series paper that I'm going to be using, or I should say the designer series paper that I'm going to be utilizing is in the celebration flyer. So I'm really, really excited to share that video with you. I'll probably record it if I don't record it this afternoon or this evening, I'll record it tomorrow. Um, and then I know you, this isn't going to make any sense, but I want to say I'm going to see you live this Thursday, um, which is would be Thursday the 18th. Monday, this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, Thursday the 18th. I don't want to confuse you because of this recording um, and live, but I, but I am excited to see you guys live for me this next Thursday. So thank you for joining. Remember, this is a to-go class. If there's anything... Um, that you have questions about, please don't hesitate to message me. I'm happy to respond, answer all your questions. Um, don't forget that there is a recruiting special going on right now for the starter kit, this beautiful glass mat with the tray and the cleaning cloth that you kind of saw sneak peek. I'm here, I don't even know where it's at now. It's in my, how I was cleaning my stamps. But anyway, it all is part of the special for, um, the kit this month through the end of February. So if you've got any questions, um, I think I've mentioned it before, but you know, you don't know whether you're interested or not. You don't, you have no idea. Just ask questions, ask questions. And I'm more than happy to answer and share whatever information you need. So Thank you for joining. Um, please, if you haven't visited um, my YouTube channel, this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel on the 29th, but um, visit my YouTube channel before that if you want. And if you haven't subscribed or you haven't um, liked and shared, please do that. Help me grow this channel. I enjoy getting together with all of you and I'm so looking forward to the next time we can get together live. So take care. I love you guys. Bye.